clamping strategy on this. Um, I hope you can see this. But my board, and I, I, I know that it had this bow in it when I first cut it. And I cut it by design going the way it's going with this, with this bevel going this way and the bowl going that way. So when I turn it around, this is how it's going in the, actually it's going this way. You can see now that the bowl is going to the outside. So when I put this in there, that, that bow in the middle there acts like a, like a natural call. It wants to bring, as I tighten this up, it wants to bring that center in where it belongs. So I'm using that to my advantage by doing that. So you can see how that's going. And then as I put it in there, it'll pull it tight uh, in the center. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I've got these quick grip clamps. Uh, I've had them for quite a while, but uh, I've become a fan of rapid action. But these work slick in this situation because they got the soft rubber pads on them. And I can get it on that outside edge here and pull that pull that in that miter joint in and back and to the back of this or the back to the support piece so I get a nice tight joint here then I'll do the same on the other end okay so it pulls it nice and tight now this in the center I know is it's got a natural tightness to it, but I made these wedges, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm just going to wiggle them in a little bit and wedge it, like so. That's it. So you can see if I pull one of these out, here pop a little. So that's all I'm going to do is just wedge that down, making sure that when, when I do this, I, I don't have any glue squeeze out right there. It is off, the, it is off the, the bottom of the inside of the shade here, but even so, I don't want those glued in there. So that's it. I'm going to put some glue on it. What I'm going to do here is scribe a line. Is I'm going to put glue on the on the piece. Glue on on these two surfaces, and then glue on along the long edge here. And then you just have to be patient and let it sit. So let's do it. Turn this over.
to me that looks good. Good. just got to play the waiting game. We'll let that sit for a while. I'll do the other one in the same manner, but uh, we won't, you won't need to see that. And uh, we'll be good to go here. It's a, it's a great day, a beautiful day here in uh, Wisconsin. It's one of those days in, that you just kind of cherish when you're living in this part of the country. Minnesota, Wisconsin, I'll always be a Minnesotan, but uh, I stepped outside today to take, take some packages and 42 degrees, it felt like it's 75. That's why I'm walking. That's why I'm walking around in a T-shirt. It's just beautiful outside. The only thing about that is that uh, the water starts running, and I gotta dig a channel to get the water to run out of my driveway. But I gladly did that today. All right, we'll let it sit. I'll, I'll be back uh, when I after they're both done, and we'll see how they turn out, and we'll start block planing these edges, and uh, see what we're gonna do with this edge as well. But we'll let her sit for now. Let me let me do this. Let me zoom in on this edge here for you. There you can see the nice glue squeeze out. I wiped this corner out already. But I think I think what I'll do next time on the next one is I'll, I'll put a little bit of glue on this on this bottom piece as well, just a little bit, so that I make sure they're both gonna bite. But I think we'll be fine. All right, thanks. Got the second one uh, glued up and cooking, so I'm gonna start on this one. It turned out great, by the way. The glue was, it's its very, very steady. I've got it, uh, I've got a clamp tier, and on top, to these two boards that are clamped to my table. So, um, it gives me a nice solid, 
solid work piece here to, to work on. I'm going to get my block plane and start with that and see what I can do about shaping this down. And uh, I got it right here, as a matter of fact. Let's just see where we're at here. I've got the green running from here, it runs that way, and from here, it runs the other way. So that's why you see me taking this short stroke here. All right, I'm gonna shut her down for a while. Put some music on and just keep at it. Just taking fine shavings, nice and slow, nice and steady. And then we'll come back. Getting closer, I, I, you can see here my pile of shavings. That This is uh, one, of the, one of the more aggressive ones. I, I changed from this just a light cut to a little more aggressive cut. I was, I noticed I could pick up the pace a little bit. So I'm getting close with this aggressive cut. Switch back brain is 
right in through here. You would think it'd switch right there because it's starting to run downhill, but it's it's going further back all the time. I think I'm just going to switch planes, so I'll keep that one set the way it is. I'll bring in something a little finer. Nothing sweeter sounding when woodworking, I think, than a sharp blade going through a piece of wood. Still pretty aggressive. Back this off a little bit. That is so close. Just a little bit more right from here. to the end, I guess. Right there. sandpaper but that turned out pretty nice sand this off maybe round that a little bit looks good so let me get my sanding blocks out I gotta unclamp this and get it out of the way but uh, I'll, I'll run it right over this these are over there. Sand the sequence on that. I gotta get these flushed up too. Probably should do that first. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, I got my sanding blocks so and this is a nice thing I like. I've got one of each grit, 80 up to 220. So I can just switch hand, you know, uh, hand planes I call them, or my sanding blocks from one to the next, and not have to wait at all.
and it makes really quick work of it. some resin of some kind is building up a spot right there. It's coming out of that knot area. That's going on. Alright, that looks good. I like it how some guys say that looks good and then they just keep right on saying it's the same grip. I guess I'm one of those guys. I should say it's looking good instead of it looks good. All right, I'm gonna hit the sides here. into 100 grit. I'm going to get my vacuum and vacuum off this dust though first. I'm up to 150 now. I needed a new piece of paper. I just want to show you how slick it is with this jig. creases right where you need them. Load your paper and away you go. Okay. Mm, it's a little too close. 
しめ I suppose I could have machine sanded this with my half sheet sander, but this is just so easy. And for a project like this, it's I don't want all that. I don't need all that noise and vibration. I guess sometimes I I want it, but not today. Alright, I'll finish up with uh, 180 and 220 and you know I'm gonna round this over I think and then I think I'm just gonna round this over as well. I'll use this 150 to do that. Just give it a little edge, a little profile I guess and we'll be back. Alright, I went through everything to, to uh, 220. It's looking fantastic I think. Uh, the one thing I was gonna show you is when I was doing 220, I was doing here, here, then, you know, I wanted a, some fresh paper up on top, so I just switched to the side and was able to run it that way. Then I did this back piece right where the post is coming up. You can't see it, but there's just a little lip right here. I was able to do both pieces at once using this side against the back of the light and this on top of that post. Like that, and then I'm able to do this right along this edge. I use it to round over the sides here, and then I can take it on back this way. But it's got a really nice feel to it, and now I'm just going to hit it with some uh, some 220 here and through the edges.
All right. That turned out fantastic. The whole area right there. Yeah. Like it. I like it a lot. That's a nice feel to it. And I'm just going to turn it over now, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this corner, I'm going to block plane that corner down. So I, I go, let me show you here. See if I can get this low enough. I got this lip right here. This corner just sticks out a little bit. I'm gonna make that flush with the bottom. So I'll have a flat, I'll have a flat here and a little flat out on the top, and then I'll just hit that with some sandpaper and just give it a nice soft feel too. So I'm gonna turn that over and do that, and then this one will be done. We're ready to work on the gluing up the post and putting the electrical putting the light in there. Well, I guess not. We got a... Yeah, I guess I do. I'll have to seal the inside first before I put the light in. Otherwise, I'll never get to it. You can probably see this better now. So you can see this little corner juts out. I'm going to flush that off all the way down and then just round this a little bit. So we'll come back when I get done with that. All right, that didn't take too long. Well, like that. So, got our shaved down to flush. I'm just gonna hit it with some 220 paper here. And take off these sharp edges. All right, we'll be back after we get done doing this. All done. And it's just, uh, just really, really nice. So this has got, this is how I did that profile right there. Flush here. And just kind of blended it together. So that looks nice. So just got to do the 
put some finish on the inside so I can drop that light in there and then I can worry about doing the uh, doing the rest of that post this just looks really super really really nice so it's turning out just fantastic I, you know I was a little concerned about doing this right here but it's it's blending together it just looks seamless almost you, you can see where the two woods come together but I like it so all right well this one's done uh, my other one is ready to go the glue is dry so I'm going to take that one out of the out of the clamps and get to work on it I think all together I guess so let me just say uh, I probably got about two hours, maybe hour and a half of uh, hand planing and sanding. But it was it was enjoyable. So <coughs> onward. Well, I'll get the other one. What I'm gonna do is I'll do the other one, and then when I come back, they'll both be done. Uh, I'll have some finish on both the insides and then we can start on uh, doing the uh, doing the posts with the electrical. I can show you how that's going to go through, how the electrical is going to come in here and sit that channel. Alright, so we'll see you after we can get all that done.